Okay, today we're reading Mixed, A Colorful Story by Ari Chung. You excited, Bryn? In the beginning, there were three colors, reds, yellows, and blues. Reds were the loudest. La, 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 la. Yellows were the brightest. There's the yellow. And blues were the coolest. Here's blue. Everyone lived in color harmony until one afternoon when a red said, reds are the best. The yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. The colors decided to live in separate parts of the city. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue and something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you and I feel so calm when I'm with you. Yellow and blue became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant, but not all the colors were happy about it. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. Bless you. Colors shouldn't mix. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. But yellow and blue loved each other so much they decided to mix. Look, they have a party. Together they created a new color and they named her green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue, but really she was a color all her own. Everyone was fascinated. She's so cute. I've never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. Can I hold her? The colors began to see new possibilities and soon other colors mixed and mixed. So we have orange and purple and mixed and mixed. There were so many new colors and a lot of new names. Be careful, Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Have fun, Amber. The old neighborhoods of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. The new city was full of color. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. The end. You did a great job, Brittany.